Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be doing my Spectre S2 review. This has been largely requested, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to explain to you guys the areas that I'm going to be judging the pump on. Then I'm going to go over some of the features and show you the pump, things like that. And then at the very end, I'm going to share with you guys my likes, dislikes, my experiences. That way, if you're just looking for what the pump's about, you can look at that and you don't have to listen to me ramble on about my personal experience. So to get started, the first thing that I'm judging this pump on is its price point. The second is its function or ease of use. The third is recommendations or reviews of this pump. Then the fourth is portability or power options. The fifth is accessibility to replacement or spare parts. The sixth is customer service. The seventh is durability. And the eighth is noise level. Now, if you have any questions on what these necessarily mean or anything like that, I will have a video linked down below that I had made before this video about how all my breast pump reviews are going to go and I expand a little bit more explaining what each of those, you know, I was really thinking of and why I picked those and stuff like that. Really quickly, I also did want to throw in comfort is not on this list because like I'd mentioned in that video, comfort level is different for everybody. Everybody has different levels of sensitivity. So I didn't want to judge it because my sensitivity level may not be the same as yours. Also, I do not plan on comparing any pumps to each other in this video or any of my breast pumper videos. If you guys want to see comparison, you know, like this pump versus this pump, let me know in the comment section down below which ones you want to see because I just don't want to muddy up individual reviews with things like that. So let me know if you want any of those videos. I will gladly do them separately, but they will not be in this video or any future breast pump reviews. So I have been talking for a while now and I totally spaced out and forgot to show you guys this part. So I'm just going to throw it in the beginning here, but this is the pump itself. As you can see, it is beautiful. I love the pink color. Love it, love it, love it. But as you can see, it's got this nice little screen right here. Here's the buttons for it. This is the tubing port. And obviously it can be single or double. And then this is obviously the tubing that goes with it, which is also very generous. It's very, very long, which I like. In the back, it does have a cup holder, and obviously this is a handle. If you couldn't tell, there is a little something right here that I'll show you in a second, but this is a night light underneath the handle. It also does come with two backflow protectors. The backflow protectors are three parts. There's this front part, there's this membrane that is inside of the third part. Don't mind the condensation, I just got done pumping. But you just put them together, which is super simple. I can do it in the middle of the night, half asleep, it's no problem. And that's just how it works. You slip it onto your tubing with the skinniest end. If you can see, there's like a skinnier and a little bit larger piece. And you just put the skinny part right in to the tubing and that's how it looks. And then obviously it does come with two of their 24 millimeter um, flanges and then it just slips into the back of it like that. And this is how you would get it out. This is how you would get it out, there you go. And then it does come with two of their five ounce bottles. I cannot talk anymore, I've been talking for so long. And then obviously it does come with a little manual, which I found actually pretty helpful. Some manuals are kind of hard to read and a little difficult, but that one's pretty straightforward. So there is also a duck bills that it comes with. And personally, I like them. I had not used them before this pump and I actually really enjoy them. I will say that this is the S2 that I got before they just recently launched the S2 Plus. Now, if you get that, you will get the 24 millimeter flange and you also get the 28 millimeter flange. So that is the difference between the two and everything else is the same. So the first point that I said I was going to judge this pump on was price. And I did want to mention really quickly that the S2 is slowly becoming more popular amongst insurance companies to cover as a breast pump. So I would definitely check with your insurance, see if they'll pay for it. Definitely check with them because I do know that it's becoming more popular amongst insurance companies. But on Amazon, you can get it for around $120. It is pretty reasonably priced, if you ask me, definitely compared to some of the breast pumps out there. So as for function and ease of use, there is a little bit of a learning curve when it comes to this pump because it does have some 
preset settings, but at the same time, you still have to figure out what settings work for you. So it does take a little bit of a learning curve, but not, necess not necessarily as much as other pumps do. And once you do figure out what works for you, it's super simple and easy to use. Now that I've been using it for about six to seven weeks now, I am totally, I can do it like half asleep now. It's no problem at all. As far as the reviews and recommendations go, across the board, I hear this pump recommended all the time. Everybody's recommending it. So as for portability and power options, this pump is pretty bulky if you ask me, but it is super lightweight. Um, it does come with a power cord and then you are able to purchase, I'm not sure if it's Spectra brand. I found it on Amazon, but I don't know if it's third party. I don't know if it's necessarily supposed to go with this pump, but you can buy a car adapter with it. And I've also heard people talk about a battery pack for it. So you can buy those separately, although I don't know if they're Spectra brand, which I don't know if that would void your warranty or not, but they are available for you if you are interested. Really quickly, I'll show you the power cord it comes with. Obviously, you know what a power cord looks like, but it is very generous in the sense of it's very long. It's very straightforward, although my um, adapter, if you do get this pump, my um, wall piece came in two different parts. This right here was sitting inside the box, and this didn't have this on it, so I had to slip it down inside if you can see that's what you need to do. And then this is just what the end piece looks like. As far as getting replacement or spare parts, it is a little difficult. I have been able to find them here and there on Amazon, although they are pretty pricey even when you can find them. Obviously, Spectra does have them on their website. I don't know what shipping is from them because I've never ordered anything off their website, but I would anticipate that you're gonna have some shipping costs on top of how expensive they are. But there is a third party May Mom who makes a lot of pump parts for them on Amazon and they are reasonably priced. However, I think if you're going to use third party parts or the thing I'm gonna mention next, it may void your warranty. So, you know, just understand and know that if you're gonna use these parts. However, there is a little adapter now that May Mom makes that this part, this end, slips on into the back of your medulla parts and then this just connects to the backflow protector of the spectra because as an exclusive pumper i had a ton of parts that they were all from my medulla pump and i didn't want to buy them over again so this allows me to use my medulla parts this costed me i think like ten dollars with shipping and i got two of them so if you are interested in that i will link to I will leave a link to that down below also excuse me touching my hair so often it's like super staticky and driving me nuts now, as far as customer service goes, Spectra has always been great for me. They're very quick and efficient with getting stuff done, and they're very quick to respond as well. As for the durability, it says that it's built for part-time and full-time pumpers. I personally have had no problem using it from seven to eight times a day for the past six weeks. I've had no problems with it. I know a lot of ladies who use it throughout their EP journey for over years and they don't have any problems with it. And just like I've always recommended, if you do experience any problems with your pump, just give Spectra a call. I'm sure they'll help you troubleshoot or even replace your pump if it's necessary. And then lastly, for the noise level, it is pretty quiet. The pump is also a closed system pump. However, it does state in the manual and also on their website that it's only intended to be single user. Most of the time for closed system pumps, it's made that way so that it can be a multi-user pump. However, they still only want the S2 to be a single user. User. Now I mentioned in my pump video before this one that cycle rates under 25 are going to be ineffective at drawing milk out but the spectra does not go under 38 and it goes all the way up to 70 so that's really great. It also has 12 suction settings and it does have the two-phase expression which if you didn't watch the other video, the two-phase expression just mimics a baby's natural suck sucking pattern. So that's really good and I do like that about this. True life mom review when you realize not until halfway into your video that your toddler had gotten hold of the pump with her sticky goldfish fingers. So excuse that if you saw it earlier, but I went ahead and I plugged everything in, got everything all set up so I could show you guys the noise level and the different features. But this is your power button right here, obviously. On the lowest setting, this is what it sounds like. And like I said, I have everything hooked up, so this is really what it sounds like when you're pumping. May even be a little bit quieter if there's no air leaking out of here. Obviously, you'd have it suctioned to your boob. But by the end of my pump session, I have it cranked all the way up, and this is what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. So it's still pretty quiet. Like I said, at night, 
I have no problem, it doesn't wake Remy up or anything, and she's actually pretty sensitive to sound. The one thing, if you do notice, here, I'll show you guys. So I have it on right now. You can see the settings. And if I turn it off, and I turn it back on, it goes right back to what it had been on. So it does have the memory, which is a good and bad thing, but I'll get to that later. And then if I just turn it off for a second, I just want to show you guys. Over here is where you control your cycles, and over here is where you control your vacuums. Obviously, this is going to control how fast or slow it goes, and this is going to control on how strong or, you know, soft the suction is. Also, I want to show you guys that it has this really easy button to go back and forth between expression and stimulation mode. Right now, we are on expression mode, I'm trying to make sure that there's not a glare on there for you guys. And then you just hit this button and it's going to go to stimulation, which this is the two-phase expression that I was talking about that mimics the baby's natural sucking pattern. But yeah, that is how you control both of those. And then just right up here, I wanted to show you guys that this right here is going to be your cycle rate and over here is your vacuum. But basically the higher the numbers go, the faster and the more suction it's going to be. And then the lower the numbers go, the slower and the less suction it's going to be. And then I also did want to show you guys the night light, which I won't be able to really accurately depict because it is during the day, but it is a two different setting night light. I do really like this. Even though it does have the screen, obviously the screen doesn't light up. So during the night when I want to see the buttons and I want to see the screen, it's very helpful. I'm sure you guys were able to tell when I had the pump on, but when you do start the pump, it does have a timer right here and it automatically shuts off at 30 minutes. And then back there is the cup holder. So now I'm just going to quickly go over my likes, dislikes, and experiences. As for my likes, I really do like the 30 minute timer. I feel like some people like this, some people don't, but I find it more beneficial than annoying just because if you were to fall asleep during that middle of the night pump, which let's all admit it, we've been there and done that, you know, it's going to shut off at 30 minutes. And I really do like the cup holder because as of right now, I cannot double pump. Me double pumping right now is just not realistic. It's not working out. So I am just single pumping. So it's nice that when I finish, I can just take the bottle off, put a new bottle on, and I can set the bottle that I've already have pumped in there and it's just very nice it's sturdy it's not going anywhere and i just absolutely love the price point of this pump like i said it's just a lot more realistic it's a lot more doable for a lot of people as for my dislikes it's a little bulky it's bigger than i think any other pump that i have so that kind of sucks i will say that the memory thing can be a bad thing if you forget to turn your settings down every single time like i do so that when i put it on my boob it's about to rip it straight off so i I could probably do without that just because I'm used to not having a memory phase, even though for some people it may be like the best thing in the world to them. So as for my personal experience, I will say that there's a learning curve. For the first two weeks that I used this pump, I seriously wanted to throw it out the window. I couldn't figure it out. I was so frustrated. I thought I hated this pump. I had absolutely no patience for it. You know, with being engorged and trying to just get your boobs some relief, I didn't really have the patience for it. But that's the thing. You have to have patience when learning how to use this pump because when you do, it will work amazing for you. So if you are getting frustrated with it, just understand that there is a learning curve at first and you'll eventually get a handle on it. You know, if you're having a little bit of trouble, reach out to some mommy pumping groups. They should be able to help you. A lot of people have a you know, different recommendations as far as settings go. And I really found that helpful to reach out to other people who have used the Spectra before because they were able to guide me in what worked best for them and I could kind of go from there. Since we're talking about settings for myself personally, I find it best for me to pump on the highest suction available in stimulation mode. I just find I don't get the best results even if I go into expression mode for a little bit. So most of the time I'm just staying in stimulation mode, which is all right with me and I just stay at the highest settings possible. Obviously I work up to those. I don't just start out at them, but eventually that's what I'm at for a good 15 minutes for each pump session and I find it works wonderfully for me. So if you're wondering, that would be 70 and L05. That's what my settings are. I know I already showed it, but I do use the Medela hack, which is this little part, like I mentioned earlier, I do use this to use my Medela parts just because I have so many. I'm just not interested in acquiring more flange and bottles just for a certain pump. So I do use this, but like I said, be aware, it could possibly void your warranty. I'm not 100% on that, but it probably does. But I'm okay with it because I'm able to use the pump parts that I already have and I'm familiar with with this pump. And I will say that I don't find 
this to cause any less suction than using their parts. I have used Spectra's parts with this pump and I don't find any suction difference between that and this. And the last little bit of my experience with it is I don't find this pump strong enough to get my very stubborn clogs out. The kind of clogs that I'm talking about are the clogs that stop milk flow. It's just not aggressive enough to get those clogs out for myself. But as far as just generally pumping, pumping through the night, I have no problem. I really like this pump. And as far as my final recommendations and thoughts go, I really would recommend this pump to somebody who's just starting out in a pumping journey or somebody with sensitive nipples, whether that be like you've already been on a pumping journey and you're finding your pump like ripping your boobs off. I would definitely recommend the Spectra. It is a very gentle pump and I do really like it. I've just all around had a great experience with the pump and I think it's, like I said, a great pump for the price and you really can't beat it. So that is my review for the Spectra S2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always, thanks for watching.